Getting accurate wideband air fuel ratio information is one of the most critical aspects to tuning any high performance engine management system. And we've got Innovate's new LC2 standalone wideband controller here to test. Now, Innovate are already well known for their air fuel ratio wideband controllers and their existing LC1 has already been a popular and well proven product. The new LC2 advances their LC1 product. It in includes their new direct digital technology, which is supposed to offer faster response to changes in air fuel ratio. So we've got the product here to test. Let's take a look and see what we get in the box. So the first thing we've got in the box is the actual LC2 controller unit. And if you're used to the older Innovate LC1, you can see there's some really big advances here that are going to make our life a lot easier. The unit's smaller and it's now got these mounting holes which make it a lot easier to fit the unit. We've got a connector here for the wideband controller to connect to the actual sensor. And then we've got our wiring which we can use to connect to an ECU, a dash or a data logger. Now the wiring itself has also been simplified over the LC1 which makes hookup a lot easier. We've also got some connections here to daisy chain the product and also to connect it for programming and calibration. It comes with an extension loom for the wideband sensor itself so we can remotely locate the controller and the sensor. We've got a Bosch LSU wideband sensor. Comes with a programming cable so you can talk to it with your laptop. We get a weld boss so we can fit the O2 sensor into the exhaust system. You get a sticker so you can show your loyalty to the Innovate brand. And also a nice easy to understand manual which tells you how everything should be connected and how everything works. While Innovate's older LC1 was already a really popular product, I've had quite a lot of experience with it myself and I've found several problems. For some reason it's always been really fussy to get a good calibration into an ECU or data logger that tends to match a known good wideband source like my dyno. It always took quite a lot of time. The other thing with the wiring on the LC1 it was quite fussy and with dual earths it was a little bit messy to get a good clean signal into your ECU or data logger. The LC2 really deals with that nicely. We've now only got four wires to deal with. We've got a power, we've got an earth, and we've got two analog voltage outputs. So we can have dual outputs from the LC2. For the purposes of our test, we wired it into the Motec CDL3 and the Toyota 86 project car behind me. And straight off the bat, the calibration data that Innovate gave us worked perfectly and the output from the LC2 matched the Motec LTC wideband controller we already had fitted to the dash. So that was a great start, makes installation quick and easy and the calibration is very accurate. Other notable improvements include the mounting, which was always a bit of a problem with the LC1. You generally had to cable tie it to something in the car as there were no mounting holes. The LC2 fixes that with four mounting holes so you can securely mount it somewhere in the car and it's not going to move. The last thing that was a really big improvement is sensor life. Now this test has been a long term test and we've now had the sensor installed in the 86 for around about 6 months and about 15,000 kilometres and the sensor is still working perfectly. My own experience with the earlier LC1, I seldom saw more than around about a month of use in a road car before the sensor would die. So sensor life is greatly improved and when the sensors are pretty expensive that makes a big difference. One of Innovate's claims to fame with the LC2 is their direct digital technology which supposedly gives faster response time to changes in air fuel ratio. Now we're not in a laboratory setting and we can't prove this to you. All we can do is compare the data file from the LC2 and the Motec LTC. What you can see though in this log file is on changes in throttle position and gear changes the LC2 data does seem to track faster than the data from the Motec LTC. Since the Motec LTC is already a really well known and respected product, this bodes pretty well for Innovate's LC2. All in all I'm really impressed with Innovate's LC2. 
They've addressed all of the issues I personally had with their earlier LC1 and we've got a product that's well priced, quick and easy to install, easy to calibrate, is accurate and lasts well. Good job Innovate. For online tuning courses visit learntotune.com.